Electric vehicles are driven by machines that spin at astonishing speeds, producing massive torque with near-perfect silence. But inside those elegant metal shells lies a challenge as old as electricity itself. Heat. Every electric motor is a battlefield between power and temperature, where the success or failure of an entire car can depend on how well engineers control that heat. In electric traction motors, heat is both invisible and relentless. It builds deep within the windings, across the rotor, and throughout the steel core that guides magnetic fields. If left unchecked, it can destroy insulation, weaken magnets, or even cause total failure in a single instant. Modern engineers have spent decades perfecting the art of cooling these motors, and their solutions reveal some of the most sophisticated design thinking in the electric mobility world. At the heart of every motor are its windings, coils of copper wire that carry the electrical current. As current flows, resistance generates heat. If the temperature rises too high, the insulation coating those copper strands begins to degrade. Once the insulation weakens, the slightest voltage spike can bridge two neighboring wires, shorting the circuit and burning a hole through the motor faster than a bullet. It happens in under a millisecond. There are no warnings, no signs of fatigue, just instant failure. This is why cooling is critical. Engineers know that keeping the windings cool prevents the insulation from breaking down and ensures the motor can survive for hundreds of thousands of miles. But windings are not the only parts that demand protection. Impermanent magnet motors, the type used in many electric cars, the magnets themselves are sensitive to heat. When temperatures rise above 140 degrees Celsius, they begin to lose magnetism. To compensate, manufacturers add heavy, rare earth materials to the magnets, which makes them more heat resistant, but also far more expensive. However, if the motor can be kept below that critical threshold, those rare earth elements aren't necessary. Stay under 120 degrees Celsius, and even lighter, cheaper neodymium magnets can perform flawlessly. The secret is simple, but vital. Keep the magnets cool, and the entire motor becomes cheaper, lighter, and more efficient. Induction motors, like those found in certain Tesla models, face a different challenge. Instead of permanent magnets, their rotors contain conductive bars, often made of aluminum, arranged in a pattern known as a squirrel cage. When current flows through them, they heat up quickly. If that heat isn't managed, the aluminum expands, potentially causing mechanical stress and damage. To prevent this, engineers circulate oil or other coolants through the rotor to absorb and carry away the heat. Cooling a motor isn't only about preventing damage, it's also about efficiency. As windings heat up, their resistance increases. A 100 degrees Celsius increase can make the copper lose 50% of its efficiency, meaning the same current now produces far more waste heat. But not every part of the motor reacts the same way. The steel inside the stator, the fixed core around the rotor, behaves differently. When steel warms, it actually loses less energy. Inside it, magnetic fields constantly reverse direction thousands of times per second. At higher temperatures, the iron atoms move more easily, requiring less energy to flip. The electrical resistance of the steel also increases, which helps suppress unwanted eddy currents that waste energy. In simple terms, warm steel can be more efficient than cold steel. This paradox creates one of the biggest challenges in motor cooling. Ideally, engineers want to cool the windings and magnets aggressively while allowing the steel to remain slightly warm. Achieving that perfect balance requires creativity, precision, and a deep understanding of thermal dynamics. Tesla's solution is a masterclass in engineering innovation. In its newer motors, like those in the Cybertruck, Tesla combines permanent magnet and induction designs. The company developed a unique way to channel oil directly into the heart of the motor. Each steel lamination in the stator stack contains tiny internal passages that guide the oil toward the hottest regions. These passages are formed during stamping, turning each layer of steel into a part of the cooling system itself. A molded plastic structure directs the high-pressure oil through these passages and sprays it directly onto the copper windings. The oil not only cools the stator core, but also washes over the windings, pulling away heat instantly. The result is a highly efficient system that keeps the motor's most vulnerable components within safe temperatures even under extreme loads, but this method comes at a cost.
Forcing oil through narrow channels and spray holes requires a high pressure pump. That pump consumes electrical energy from the vehicle's battery, slightly reducing range. Still, the trade-off is worth it, because the benefit to performance and motor longevity is immense. Tesla's engineers didn't stop there. They also designed the rotor, the motor's spinning core, to aid in cooling. Oil is routed through the hollow shaft of the rotor and expelled through precision drilled holes by centrifugal force. As the rotor spins, the oil sprays outward across the inner surface of the stator windings, cooling them from the inside out. The high-speed rotation increases flow and heat transfer, allowing the rotor itself to act as a pump. In practice, this internal spray system provides the majority of the motor's cooling. The oil coming off the rotor strikes the stator windings at high velocity, carrying away heat far more effectively than external sprays or passive cooling channels. It's a dynamic system, elegant in both function and execution. General Motors takes a different approach. Rather than using an energy-hungry high-pressure pump, GM relies on a low-energy, gravity-fed design that uses the vehicle's own motion to do the work. The concept traces its roots back to early Toyota hybrid systems, where spinning transmission gears would fling oil upward, letting it rain down across the motor. GM refined this principle to an extraordinary level. In modern electric vehicles, oil from the gearbox is captured in dedicated channels above the motor and released through precisely placed holes that drip onto the stator windings and the core's center. This creates a gentle oil rain that cools the hottest areas without requiring additional pumping power. Larger openings deliver oil to the center of the stack, while smaller ones target the winding heads with surgical accuracy. This simple, yet brilliant system uses no extra energy from the battery. Instead, it harnesses the physics of motion, letting gravity and centrifugal force do the cooling. The same oil flow also cools the high-voltage connectors, ensuring the entire assembly remains within safe limits. However, designing such a system is anything but simple. Engineers must account for how oil behaves under real driving conditions, when the car tilts uphill, accelerates hard, or corners at high speed. In these moments, gravity no longer acts straight downward. The oil's flow path changes dramatically, and if it fails to reach the right spots, critical parts could overheat. To solve this, engineers run complex computer simulations to model oil flow under different g-forces and temperatures, but oil is unpredictable. When cold, it thickens like jelly. When hot, it thins to the consistency of water. Its surface tension also changes depending on temperature and impurities. Sometimes it clings to the motor housing instead of dripping freely, completely bypassing the windings it's meant to cool. Every hole, angle, and passage in the housing must be tested and adjusted to ensure consistent flow across all conditions. The difference between success and failure can be as subtle as a millimeter wide channel or a slight curve in a casting. It's a world where precision isn't optional, it's survival. Despite their contrasting methods, Tesla and GM have achieved exceptional results. Tesla's high pressure system delivers rapid, targeted cooling, ideal for high performance vehicles that demand maximum power. GM's gravity-assisted approach provides reliable, energy-efficient cooling for mass-market electric cars. Each reflects a different philosophy, one driven by performance, the other by efficiency. Across the industry, automakers like Ford, Volkswagen, and Hyundai are adopting similar oil-based cooling systems. These designs have proven themselves through years of testing and refinement. They protect windings, preserve magnet strength, and extend the lifespan of electric drivetrains, all while enabling the high power outputs demanded by modern EVs. The next frontier lies in precision thermal management, systems that dynamically adjust cooling flow based on driving style, terrain, and temperature. Future electric motors may use sensors and AI-driven control loops to direct oil exactly where it's needed, moment by moment, achieving perfect thermal balance. After all, cooling isn't just about preventing failure. It's about unlocking the full potential of electric propulsion. By mastering heat, engineers are building motors that run cooler, last longer, and push electric vehicles further than ever before. 
Hidden beneath the silence of every EV lies a pulse of motion, a dance of energy and temperature, and the quiet triumph of engineering that keeps it all in harmony.